Well, I said for years uh, a worship leader should should worship and not lead. And then I was talking to Jack Hayford one day, and he said, "Well, I, I take an issue with that, Don. You know exactly where you're going when you're up there." And he said, "A good worship leader won't just uh, close their eyes and and be oblivious to where the audience is. You know, uh, sometimes." You know, there are grandmas that don't like to stand for, uh, you know, for 45 minutes. And, you know, it helps to look around at your audience and see, uh, you know what, just sit down and relax. And uh, so it's, uh, I think a worship leader has to be a good communicator. And um, yes, it's important to worship that you can't lead people where you haven't been. But uh, still, it always helps to be a good communicator. This event here is, uh, it's, it's a new Hosanna music project, which, which I'm the worship leader on, and about every couple of years they let me be the worship leader <laughs> on, on one of these. And, uh, you know, I think the easy thing to do would have been uh, get five or 10,000 people in, an, in, a, in a coliseum somewhere or go to the uh, Chrysler um, Hall where we recorded before and, and get a few thousand people together and, uh, and do a big production. But I think most, you know, about 90% of people uh, go to churches of 100 people or less. And, and sometimes I think they must look at our videos and, and kind of say, uh, you know, that looks great, but I can't relate to, to that in my church. So, so we've got a huge crowd of 100 here, um, and they're just worshipers from around the area. And, and that's what it is. It's set up like a living room. And, and I want this to be, I want to have worship be approachable to people. I think, you know, when I'm up on a stage or there's this big stage, I love productions, don't get me wrong, I love it. But, you know, uh, when there's this stage and lights and the whole deal, uh, sometimes the, the, the congregation looks at it and say, well, that's fine, but how is it really relating to me? You know, and I, we've had some wonderful uh, large services, so I'm not opposed to that, but I think there is a time also for a much more vul vulnerable, intimate setting like this. I mean, this is, uh, I've never done anything like this before. I have led worship, uh, uh, worship meetings in people's living rooms before, and I don't do the same type of songs there that I would do on a stage with 5,000 people because there's not that energy uh, involved. So, so this is uh, going to be a new step for me too because at the end of a song, I don't know how, the, how people will react because they're sitting in couches and chairs, and, uh, but yet, my prayer is that this will really be accessible to uh, to the just mainstream denominational people. Just people out there going to churches of a hundred or less can maybe look at this and say, you know what, uh, I I think that's believable what they're doing, and I'm going to enter in and worship too. So that's my prayer. I, I think if I have a passion, it is to establish reality in worship, and I want it to be real. Whatever we do, to be real, and and. Um, you know, I get tired of hype. I don't want to hype people into doing anything. I want to do a good job. I want to do music with, with excellence. But, um, but, you know, tonight I'm looking for just a very real, genuine, sincere response from the people. And it may not be uh, shouting and, and clapping and, and uh, you know, celebrating. It may be more contemplative, and that's fine. But it's real and sincere. So that's kind of what we're going for in this. It's a new step for me. The opening song, the Lord's Prayer, uh, it's, it's called Our Father. Uh, uh, this is uh, a song, especially on the bridge of this song, um, uh, it, 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 is, uh, it says, And though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song uh, we'll be singing forever, Holy is the Lord. Uh, and just a year, less than a year ago, I lost my mom, and uh, and I thought as I was writing this song, um, uh, uh, you know, though we're few, we are surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And I was with my mother when she when she went to be with the Lord, and um, uh, and I think about her when I sing that song, you know, that she is with this incredible choir now. Uh, Probably directing, <laughs> probably directing the alto section if I know my mother, uh, and uh, you know, singing "Holy is the Lord." So every time I sing that, I think about man. We are surrounded by this. We can't hear them, but there's this incredible choir right now singing "Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord." So that's a that's a real special song to me. One of the songs that uh, that almost didn't. Uh, make the uh, project was one called River of Love. 
and uh, and and I uh, have I, I I've recorded an album in in Spanish, and to Presencia, and I've traveled uh, quite a bit down Central America and South America, and and uh, you know I have this uh, I love you know I don't speak Spanish I'm working on it but I just love the whole Latin uh, feel and the Latin music and I I found myself. Uh, Writing, <laughs> writing the song uh, one day, and uh, uh, you're the river of love. Just this Latin groove, and I, I just loved it. It didn't seem to fit uh, with the with the record. Again, it's not a song that I would typically do uh, in a. Uh, uh, it's not a it's not a typical praise and worship song, but it's it's something that was you know kind of bubbling up in my heart and uh, um, and I'm glad uh, I'm glad we we did it. I especially like the bridge of the song. If anyone is thirsty, let him come on in. When you drink the living water, you will never thirst again. Oh, uh, so um, that's a, a real fun song. And this song, um, I will sing. Uh, <laughs> it came as I was driving home from a disappointing day of writing, and I was st sitting at a, a stop sign waiting for uh, the traffic to go. and And all of a sudden, I heard this. Uh, I got this. I was kind of praying as I was driving, and I I heard myself saying, "Lord, you seem so far away, a, a million miles or more." it feels today. And I thought, that's kind of a line of a poem, kind of. So I remember <laughs> I took out my pencil, you know, driving down and writing this little, you know, the thing, Lord, you seem so far away, a million miles or more, it feels today, it seems today. As I was continuing uh, to drive down the road, I got, uh, uh, I was still <laughs> kind of praying, and, uh, and, and I wasn't thinking about that I'm writing a song. I was just, kind of crying out to God, and, and I wrote, uh, all of a sudden I heard myself saying, and though I haven't lost my faith, I must confess right now that it's hard for me to pray. And I, you know, as I, wrote, I wrote that line down, and I looked at it uh, in my car, and I thought, gee, where did that come from? I mean, and um, then I wrote, but I don't know what to say, and I don't know where to start. But as you give the grace, with all that's in my heart, I will sing, and I will praise. And I, you know, I found myself being really moved by this. So I just, I mean, I, I just wrote it so fast. It was almost over. I mean, I kind of, I didn't have a piano in the car, but I mean, I knew what the melody was as I was writing it down. It just kind of, so when I came home, I sat down on the piano, and, and, and there it was. So, so I, I was disappointed because, uh, because God, God gave me this type of a song and not the song that I wanted for the record. So I just put it aside and, and I um, didn't do anything with it, uh, really. And then I played it uh, uh, for Laura, for my wife, and, uh, and boy, she said, boy, that really, I un I, that's great. That's the way I feel some days. And I played it for a couple other guys and then... Uh, a real good friend of mine lost uh, his little girl in a car accident, and um, and I went up to my studio and I um, I, I sang the song on, and put it on the CD and I sent it out to him, um, and I said, David, uh, I know there are going to be days that you feel this way, and I, I I trust that this will minister to you, and so I sent him the song, uh, and I thought perhaps that's why I wrote the song for him. Uh, and just for that occasion, uh, much like I wrote, uh, God will make a way for uh, for my um, brother-in-law and sister-in-law when they lost their little boy in a car accident. I thought, well, maybe I wrote it for them. Uh, but the more I have uh, uh, thought about it, uh, the song I will sing has given people a chance to 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 express their. Uh, the cry of their heart, God, I don't know where you are today, but uh, like David the psalmist, uh, 
I'm going to sing and I'm going to rejoice, even though I don't understand. Uh, I'm going to offer praise to you. And there, there's, a, there's where the power is. We ended up recording this song, I Will Sing, and amazingly, the song that I was disappointed that I wrote ended up being the title of the, of the whole project. The night of the recording, I just kind of sketched out on a little uh, rhythm chart. Uh, Paul Mills had, had written about eight bars of it, and I finished the other bit, and I kind of gave it to the band. I was going to do a little warm-up prior to the recording, and, and I was going to sing this song, but uh, see, the band got into it really fast, and, and I looked at Paul Mills, and he looked at me, and I thought, well, man, let's do this song, and it was uh, two hands uh, and one heart. And, and it turned out to be a really, really fun moment. And I mean, literally, I think with one time through, the band, uh, they didn't even have charts. And all of a sudden, everybody was playing this song. And uh, then we decided to put it on, uh, put it on the record. And, I, and it's one of my favorites. One of my uh, favorite songs on the record, it sounds like I'm saying all of them are my favorites. They all have their different uh, moments. but. Uh, the song, Lord, You Are Good. It is uh, so simple and, and, and so gentle. Uh, uh, it's, it's written by uh, a real good friend of, of mine that also works at Integrity Music, uh, Steve Merkel. And uh, where would I be if you had not been by my side? How could I rise to meet the morning of the day? Your tender mercy always calling from behind. At times I could not see you, even though you were close by. And Lord, you are good. You are good. It's just a very simple uh, statement, of course. You know, I love singing about the goodness of God. God is good all the time. There's something powerful about saying that. I, I really do have a passion. And it is to help promote reality and worship. Um, there's been times that, I, that I've thought, have I lost my passion for what I'm doing? Have I lost the passion uh, for, for worship like I used to have, uh, like I used to have it? And I think um, as I've thought about it and prayed about it, I haven't lost my passion. I have a greater passion than ever before to, to help promote reality and worship. And by that I mean um, there are uh, a lot of people uh, who do a lot of things in the, in the name of worship that I'm not sure they know why they're doing them. And, and especially for outsiders coming into an auditorium or a church, they look at what we're doing and they kind of go, uh, I can't relate to that. And I have always had a heart for the guy or the, or the gal sitting on the back row of a church or the back row of an auditorium. Who, who I know can't relate to what's going on on the platform, but I have a desire to reach them with the reality of worship. If I can get the truck driver on the back row of a church singing, give thanks with a grateful heart. You know, you know if I can get him worshiping, then I feel I've, I, I've done a, a good job at leading people in worship. The front three rows of a church will do whatever you want them to do, usually. And they're the people that are into it, but but uh, I think there are a lot of people that look at worship and um, and and they feel like they're outsiders. Uh, there's this little bit of resistance. Don't make me do anything I'm not comfortable with. And and uh, I love to be in a situation that that can disarm those people, and before they realize it, they find themselves worshiping the Lord. In order to do that, you have to come across pretty normal. So. Um, it's been my desire to, uh, to just promote integrity and honesty in worship. And I just, I, I want it to be real. I want so desperately for the worship experiences we have to be real. And that's why um, it, uh, I kind of put myself in this uh, situation with, with 60 or 70 people. It was going to force reality. I mean, it was, there are going to be no... There's no uh, large crowd carrying this event to make it something that it was not. What, you know, in front of that few people, uh, I mean, there was no audience on this recording. The audience was, uh, was 
the worshipers, you know. I wasn't singing to an audience of uh, 10,000 people. It was like, hey, Don sitting at the piano, and here we are in, um, in the living room, and uh, let's just take some time to, uh, to tell God we love Him, and that we worship Him, and, and, and let Him pour out His healing and His uh, comfort to all of us. So it was a very uh, powerful, I would say it's probably the most powerful uh, worship experience that I've had on any uh, Hosanna tape that I've led worship on. It was just uh, particularly uh, in in one spot in the in before the song I will sing. It was a powerful time, uh, and and I became uh, more emotional than I wanted to become on a camera. But uh, but that's what happened that night, and it was uh, a very special time. in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever.
hear our prayer. We are your children, and we've gathered here today. We've gathered here to pray. Hear our cry. Oh, Lord, we need your mercy, and we need your grace today. Ourselves, we pray. Psalm 24, lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. How many want the King of glory to come in here tonight? Amen. Amen. <laughs> lift up your head.
call to him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our hands, he will lift us up. Come now, praise his name, all you saints of God. Yes, you have with 
songs of praise forever I will sing of your grace Just a part I'm lifting up My everything Well it's all I have To offer And it's all I have To give Two hands One heart One life To offer And it's all I have to 
holds the heavens in his hands Who made the stars by the word of his power Who put the spirit in man And causes all the earth to cry out glory Glory to the Lord Worship him the righteous by the hand who is the way in this marvelous hour who stirs the heart of a man and causes all his saints to cry out glory Majesty and glory 
Let your anointing fall As we declare your name, Lord Jesus As the only name who saves May the power of your salvation Fill each heart, we pray As we worship let all the nations hear our song, the song of Jesus and his blood that proved his love for all. As we worship you, may all the lost and broken come. May they hear your still small voice call out their names each one. As we bow in adoration, and stand in reverent awe. Show your majesty and glory. Let your anointing fall. As we declare your name, Lord Jesus, as the only name who saves. May the power of your salvation fill each heart we
we welcome you here in the midst. We worship you, Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Oh, we worship, we worship, we worship. And here we are Lifting our hands to you Here we are Giving you thanks For all you do And as we pray I'm 
praises of your people. So you're here with us right now. Speak to us, Lord. Have you not known, have you not heard, the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach us, Lord, to wait. Trust me. 
for you, Lord. We ask you to forgive us for being in a hurry with our lives. We all lead such busy, busy lives. Forgive us for not giving you time. Because we know that our strength comes from waiting on you. So right now we take this moment to wait. receive your strength. We're not in a hurry, God.
your holy fire go. Let your holy fire fill this place right now. As we wait, as we wait, Let your glory fill this place tonight. You inhabit the praises of your people, so here we are tonight. We love you. We worship you. We honor you, God. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy, God. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. And I will joy in the God of my salvation. Lord, we determine tonight with all that's in us that we are going to bless your name. In spite of every circumstance we are facing, we choose. choose to bless you.
Lord, you seem so far away, a million miles or more, it feels today. And though I haven't lost my faith, I must confess right now that it's hard for me to pray. Those of you who have lost your desire to sing, I'm asking God to put that melody back in your heart tonight. Cause you to lift your voice and sing to Him, even though you don't understand. Praise Him tonight. You're good. Yes, you are, Lord. You're so good. And you're good all the time.
my side How could I rise to meet the morning of the day Your tender mercy always calling from behind At times I could not see you even though you were close by and Lord, you are good, you are good, and your mercy forever endure. Lord, you are good, you are good, and your mercy forever endure. could I rise to meet the morning of the day? Your tender mercy always calling from behind. At times I could not see you, even though you were close by.
to pray. Lord, we've come to listen and hear what you would say. Lord, our hearts are longing to meet with you today. For we have come to seek you and we have far away look down in tender mercy forgive our sins we pray oh Lord we need revival all across this land yes we do come move among your people with your mighty hand Redeem us back to God. 
means to me it brings me great delight such a lovely sight and yes it is true praise looks good on you Your praise ascends to heaven like the smell of sweet perfume filling every room. And yes, it is true. Praise looks good on.